We've seen questions like this before, but I want you to get used to how to recognize these triangle questions. Whenever you're given one trig ratio, and here we're given cos is equal to 3 over 8, and some sort of information that's going to tell you what quadrant it's in, and here we're told it's not in quadrant 1, then what you're going to want to do is draw your four quadrants and draw a picture of this angle. This angle, since theta is not in quadrant 1, what quadrant will this angle be in? It'll be in quadrant 4 because of the cast rule. We know that cosine is positive. Cosine is only positive in quadrant 1 and 4, but it's not in quadrant 1, so it needs to be in quadrant 4. So we draw our angle in quadrant 4, and with that angle, we can draw a line back to the nearest x-axis and label our reference angle. Reference angles are very important because if cos of theta is equal to 3 over 8, then cos of your reference angle is equal to positive 3 over 8. And I can label my adjacent side over my hypotenuse here. And then we've got some mental math to do. The opposite side is going to be the square root of... Got an answer in your head? a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Did you get 55? Once you've labeled that triangle, now you can find out sine of theta. Well, sine of theta is the opposite side over your hypotenuse, so that would be square root of 55 over 8. And because it's in quadrant 4, Sine is negative in quadrant 4, so it'll be negative square root of 55 over 8. For tan, tan is opposite over adjacent, and because it's in quadrant 4, tan will be negative. Another question that comes up periodically on uh, the exam is it questions whether or not a point is on the unit circle or not. And it's not just enough to say that, oh, when I look at those numbers, those numbers don't match up to my pi plate. Because yes, there are the values that are on your pi plate that are on your unit circle, but there's a whole bunch of other points that we don't even label. And so how do we determine if this particular point is on the unit circle or not. Well, if something is on the unit circle, then sine squared plus cos squared equals 1, or your y coordinate plus your x coordinate squared is equal to 1. You can either use y squared plus x squared, and I wrote it in that way to match up the y with sine and the x with cos. That's your definition of a circle, your equation of your circle. Or you can use sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. So we need to, need to determine, is this true or not? 